pit stop, and then on the outside, it's going to be Mr. Brian Reynolds. Here they come to the line. I think we'll get a green here. Steel boat way out there. It is. And they've given him a green flag, but look at Steve Davis shoot down. He's Steve going to Davis. take the lead going into the corner. Absolutely, but the steel boat had a great start there. Actually anticipated the start very nicely, but Stephen David now starts to trim his boat out front from the three lane. You see the traffic out there. Brian Reynolds going wide. Everybody giving everybody enough room through that corner. Off the turn, it is Steve David down the back chute in the uh, pit stop. And there are the two Leland boats just inside of him. It is the steel on the inside with Jerry Hale giving him some competition. Look at Jerry Hopp move up. Look also at Brian Reynolds move up on the outside. They're all right there. Uh, Steve David has things going his way. His boat will run better in lane three than it would actually in lane one. So this is a perfect scenario for him. At some point, he's going to want to close down the lane as soon as he feels like he has overlap and uh, take the threat away. But the boat on the outside that's coming like a son of a gun. We have a boat down, Michael, up in the corner. has gone dead in the water. That's right. That would be the Graham trucking Jerry Hop down in the water up in the upper corner. Unfortunately, 138.6 first time around. Not bad at all. Steve David does exactly what Scott Pierce suggested. He has sufficient room now to, to uh, get that rooster tail lead as required. Well, not quite sufficient room now, so he's going to have to wait another straightaway, but he will try to come over and close down the yeah, lane. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Uh, Brian Reynolds is really accounting well for himself. He is catching uh, the team steel boat very, very rapidly. He is indeed. That's the white boat on the outside, the right-hand side of your screen. And uh, we are in the uh, second lap of this three times around. Stephen David in Jim Harvey's boat, the pit stop off the corner. He just Steven's did, doing very well. Did he hit that buoy? He came awful close. I think his water splashed off it. Let's see if he's not still standing. Brian Reynolds looks like he has pulled ahead, or at least even with Team Steel. That's a heck of a race there. He has indeed pulled ahead of Team Steel now. Great battle going there between Jerry Hale and Brian Reynolds, the leader. For the last time through the lower corner now, it is the pit stop, the U-2. This is a two-wing hydroplane, a Ron Jones two-wing hydroplane across the line that time, 136.8. Down the back, shoot. great battle for second. Looks like Jerry Hale wants to make this a contest. He's going to try to push on the inside. Now, look at those boats almost side by side there as they trail Stephen David in the pit stop. The white boat on the outside is the Chaplin's Bellevue Mazda on the inside, the Team Steel. That is incredibly hard to try to win a race from the outside with a very fast boat. Again, that boat on the inside was the winner last year, and this kid is just driving the wheels off of Bill Worcester's boat. Jerry Hopp has restarted and has crossed the line to continue now in the Graham trucking. Checkered flag out. Stephen David takes it at last. He tried three times to do it. Three times the charm. Second place is going to be Brian Reynolds across the line in the Bellevue Chaplin Mazda. And third across the line, it is the team steal with Jerry Hale. And Jerry Hopp is running the back chute. He got restarted after being a lap and a half down. And he's uh, still trying to run. Looks like Brian Reynolds and, uh, and Jerry and the steel boat don't want to quit. Or Brian Reynolds doesn't want to quit. He's passing everybody. He likes this boat race, and he's going fast. <laughs> Indeed. Let's go down now to the uh, Jim Harvey Motorsports pit, the pit stop and... Uh, Let's chat with uh, Rick Corella. I'm down here right now with Jim Harvey is before the boat gets back to the dock. Third time's a charm today. Jimmy led the laps in the first two heats. He got one done. Well, it's about time. Uh, the boat's just running fantastic today. The uh, the um, pit stop. I mean, it's, it's Jerry Kenny. Everybody has been involved, and uh, Steve's done a heck of a job. And and we're just getting ready for the final. We're going to be there at the end of the day. I know you're excited. We look forward to seeing him come into the dock. Steve Thank Davids you. here after leading five laps. You've won a heat. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough way to get there, but uh, we're real happy with it, particularly that the steel boat that we just beat was the one that won the Gold Cup last year, so that was an important mark for us to find out where we stand getting ready for the final. As we were standing here, you noticed that the wind's starting to kick up. What effect's that going to have on you the rest of the afternoon? Well, we'll have to see. We'll probably make a couple of wing adjustments to keep the boat in the water. Obviously, with what's happened today, stay on the water is kind of the key to winning this race. <laughs> At the speed we're going now, if you win the next two heats, we'll be here till Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, my flight's tonight, but I'll move that back and win this thing. <laughs> a happy winter down here on the dock.